itself is uh, going very well. We're leading, I believe, in all seven swing states. So uh, I appreciate everybody's work, and uh, the spirit is unbelievable. I don't think there's ever been anything like it in our country's history, frankly, because we want to see our country. And she's running on a campaign of demoralization and really a, can of, a campaign of destruction. But really, perhaps more than anything else, it's a campaign of hate, it's a campaign of absolute hate. They're vicious, and they're perhaps even trying to destroy our country. In less than four years, Kamala Harris has obliterated our borders, obliterated. We've never had a situation like this. Decimated the middle class and runaway inflation has caused problems, the likes of which we never thought possible. Bloodshed, squalor to our cities is common, and they've unleashed a war and chaos all over the world. No person has caused so much destruction and death at home and abroad should ever be allowed to be the President of the United States. You can't have that. They opened up their jails, and some of the most ruthless killers in the world are now roaming our fields and our streets all over the United States. I knew that was going to happen, and I would do the same thing if I were running one of those many countries that we're talking about. And they're dumping them at our border, pushing them across the line, and say, don't ever come back. If you come back, we're going to kill you. And we're stuck with them. But we're not going to be stuck with them for long. She's going out and only criticizing, talking about Hitler and Nazi, and because her record's horrible. Her borders are the worst in the history of the world. There's never been a border in the world like this. Kamala's cruel and uh, immoral actions on our border are actually disqualifying, in my opinion. She's unfit. She's an unfit person. So Kamala violated her oath. She desecrated our laws, and she got innocent girls like Jocelyn tortured and killed. Anyone who knowingly sets loose these monsters into our country has absolutely no right to be running for office, let alone the office of president. Our economy is not this. It's just it's like a fake economy. Uh, some of the best, some of the best people on Wall Street are saying the economy is only good because they think. I don't want to say this because other people have said it. That's not me saying it. But they think Trump is going to get elected. That's the only reason our economy is good. That's the only reason the stock market is up. I'm announcing that for the first time under my administration, we will be seizing the assets of the criminal gangs and drug cartels. And we will use those assets to create a compensation fund to provide restitution for the victims of migrant crime, and the government will help in the restoration.